Next, we'll be soldering Coolrunner CR3 light onto a motherboard. Uh, these are the contents of the package. You get your actual Coolrunner 3 CR3 light chip with an adhesive pad, fat and slim cable set. Let's just go through a few of the new changes that have been introduced in the Coolrunner 3. Team Executor have introduced four LK solder pads and two switch settings. So these solder pads are LK1, LK2, LK3, LK4 and the two switch settings are S2 and S4. These have been introduced so that uh, we can fine tune our glitch timing for a specific console. Depends on the console type. Uh, we either have to short or leave them as open and we can play around with these switch settings just to get a decent glitch time for our console. By default all these um, LK solder pads come open and all these switch settings are set to off. Since we are doing Corona version 1 motherboard these are the recommended settings by Team Executor. LK1 open so we'll leave as it is. LK2 short so we'll have to bridge this. LK3 open so we'll leave as it is. LK4 has three solder pads. One, two, three. There are uh, three settings that we have to try. So again that we'll be trying in our testing phase. First we'll leave one, two, three, all these solder pads as open to see uh, if we get a decent glitch time. If we do not get a decent glitch time there are two other settings recommended. We can either sh short one and two or we can short two and three. We'll be soldering cool runner CR3 light onto our motherboard. Uh, let's just go through all the points that we'll be soldering to. Uh, positioning of the cool runner CR3 light, uh, we'll be placing it here. Uh, the points that will be pre tuning are 3.3 ground C, D, E, N, F. Uh, J to C3, uh, pin number 7, 3.3 .3 volts, red wire. Pin number 9 is brown, and pin number 10 is green. Yellow, and the long CPU reset, blue or white shielded cable goes on the back of the motherboard. Um, white. Uh, sorry, yellow cable if you are using for Corona version 1, it's a smaller cable so you have to use it from the fat cable set. So grab it from the fat cable set. And the points, uh, the yellow and where the long blue or white cable goes are here. Uh, the yellow goes over here, so that's this. And the blue one CPU reset cable goes under the X clamp. It's CR511 and the pin is number one. It's hard to see. It's here. So that's the one, the first one. In order to solder to this point, we have to take out the X clamp. It's a bit time consuming. Uh, there are a couple of alternate solutions. These are the alternate solutions. And you can use this number four. One, two, three, four. So the fourth one, uh, fourth, this one we can use. So that's the point. Now in order to use it, you have to use fiberglass, scratch the whole thing, add solder and then add your long blue CPU reset cable here. Uh, you can, we can try all these three, so let's just try the first the one at the back here, number four point. Next, we'll be soldering cool runner CR3 light onto our motherboard. Uh, this is the positioning we'll be placing our cool runner, so simply place your CR3 light over here. Uh, we'll be pre tinning 3.3 volt ground C, D, E, F cool runner CR3 connections. Uh, switch settings make sure, th uh, sure the switch is onto the program side and this is on the, the slim side. Uh, over here J2C1 
for pin number or point number 7 is red 3.3 .3 volt pin number 9 point number 9 is brown wire point number 10 is your green wire uh, the black ground wire goes on to your AV port here so the black one goes on to the AV port here um, the, white, the yellow cable uh, that comes in the, with the slim cable set is a bit shorter so you have to use it from the fat cable set we'll be soldering the yellow wire here and the blue one goes under the X clamp so you have to remove the X clamp if you want to use that point it's CR511 and the point is point number one there and that's the point